What up, nerds? So we're here with Garrison's Simic Ramp Brew that he made last week, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So uh, we got a couple of requests for deck to, uh, deck lists, and then he got here early tonight, so figured might as well just do a deck tech, and then I'll type up the list later. So I guess I'll read the cards. You talk about them. Is that what we, sure. what we do? So we got some basics, two forests, two islands, one castle V, four Yavi Maya Coast. We ran out of room here, so there's two Basajus and two Adawaras. <laughs> Four bark channel pathways, four breeding pools, and then four botanical skankdoms. Yep. I said it correctly for Correct, you. thanks. All right, Appreciate so uh, are you happy with that mana base? Yeah, for, feel, the, feel yeah okay? for the most part. Um, Vantress doesn't ever, it, it hasn't seemed yet to, to, to come matter. into play, ta like tapped. Oh. Um, and the whole point was wanting untapped lands literally as much as possible, yeah. So, um, which is why I didn't go with the other land. Um, the slower, the slow one. Yeah, so, like... I can't think of the name. I can't either, yeah. but... Um, you want ramp early on. Yeah, and the, so, those would be a problem if I drew them. Right. Whereas, typically, if you draw those later... You can't turn one elf if you have that one. Correct. Well, yeah. no elf. Okay, you can't turn and one grace. If there was an elf. Yeah. I'll get to that point when... Oh, yeah, we'll last to... week there was, wasn't there? Yes. Gotcha. So, yep. All right, so, moving on to the creatures. I think we have them by CMC... Yeah, for the most so. part, this so way. So, four yep. arboreal grazers, yep. um, just to play an extra land, and then blockers early. Yep. Do you just throw them under the first bus that they it, see? Pretty much. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they're they're really good at hitting a train. Yeah. Uh, Sylvan Caryatid, again, early, also really hard to remove. So, that, that decision was the removal portion. Mm -hmm. um, so, before it was, last week it was four grazers and then four elves. And four carry out or the bird. four carries. That was the problem uh, with playing the Unctus deck. Mm -hmm. It had eight one drop mana dorks, and they always just Bold killed bird. what. Yeah, always yeah. just killed whatever it was. So the carry added was the hex proof. Yeah, at two was better. Yep. So, and again, it's an early blocker. It's yeah, yep. uh, One mystic archaeologist. Have you even used it yet? Um, I had, <laughs> I had it on board. I was not able to use it because I drew some other things that were just better, better. to do with the time, yeah. Yeah. but... Um, so it's a late-game draw extra cards card. Yeah, uh, it, the deck really suffers right now. Yeah. It Once suffers. it stalls out. Yep. Yeah. Yep. All right, and then for... These are new. Elvish Rejuvenator. Yep. Um, that just... It allows you to basically ramp a land, right? Yeah, so it was... This was the four Elvish Mystics, I think is what it was. Or Land of War Elves. It was Land yeah. of War Elves last week. Um, but so you get your one mana, you know, blocker, and then two mana rampant growth, if you will. Um, and it was really, <laughs> I had too many times where like the dork just sat there. Mm -hmm. Um, I couldn't get to like the last land I needed to cast anything else big. So I figured this was probably like yeah, this would and, solve the issue. Ramping a land into play versus a creature that can get removed is yep. more important. Yep. Um, and then this is like your new favorite pet card. Uh, yeah. Halucranos. Um, it, that is not its name. <sighs> What's its name, Gary? Hydrocoil engine. Hydrocoil engine. Yes. Because it makes engine. worm coil engine like tokens. It's but they're it, hydra. It's a hydrocoil on the backside. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's it's just yes. like Wormcoil Engine, but except, it's hydras instead of worms. Yeah, and instead of death so that's why he keeps reach. calling it that way. Now you know the explanation. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, it's just really like it's a good. I mean, it's a four, five, for three. So it's super easy to cast in this deck. Um, yeah, the only thing that you don't want to see would be islands, <laughs> Ottawaras. It's literally like these. Yeah. Um, and like the sages. Yeah. No, I mean these, like the yeah. Ottawa. The you got five Mantris. lands yep. that on turn one through three won't be able to cast. Yep. And then like you're putting green in. You're putting yeah. probably putting green. It makes whatever yeah. color you need. Yep. Um, I haven't had the issue with uh, transforming the Pelucranos. Yeah. I actually didn't pay two life to transform yeah. the Pelucranos. Yeah. You can use the Caryatid, which yep. is good. Which is really nice. So, um, I like it. This was your pet card when it was in. Standard? I think you uh, played it in standard. I did a little play bit. in standard. Uh, yeah, because everybody likes the Thrag Tusk, right? Swag Tusk is. is Isn't it more like right? Seed Rhino? No, no, it's like, no, swag, no, tusk. It's like swag, swag Tusk. tusk. Yeah, yeah you're right. Um, this deck was really just something that was like quick life gain yeah. and card draw. Um, Make body. So far, I haven't played it for five. I've just blitzed it. Yeah. If, we talked if about I'm that. If I'm not when mistaken, it was printed, yeah. That it's just better to blitz, to blitz it than it. it. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and it's, it's worked pretty well. Um, 
I'm not sure if it's sticking around. I only own the two Pelucanos. Gotcha. Um, so you might be swapping. Yeah. It just depends on how things play out the next so. day or two. Then the payoff cards. No. Yeah. Well, we'll talk about Thrun first, apparently. Yeah. Um, this thing, if I had, if I owned More. two. Yeah. If I So, like, that's where, like, the War Chief comes into play. Put in another Pelucanos. Put in and, another. Sorry. Well, Hydrocoil Engine. Hydrocoil Engine, or potentially just two more thrones this thing like it's really tough to remove <laughs> it is so hard um and in this deck it it just seems to work fairly well uh, so i like i like it i don't like the fact that he, both of them are, are we're legends gonna, we're gonna skip this one sure and then you got titan of industry just a really good seven drop yeah i mean most seven drops are pretty board changing yeah um, uh it's just the like the life gain because you're getting later into the game and then an additional body and a way to to quickly end the game and then your um, pet card coma yeah like my super pet card yeah uh, has been, been playing for it since quite it was a printed. while um i don't really have to say much i mean more so to that. if you if you untap with sorry if your opponent untaps with it mm -hmm. if you have mm -hmm. it and your opponent mm -hmm. untaps and doesn't have a removal spell at the ready for it mm -hmm. it's probably never going away yeah uh it did there in are a, one there it are did in sacrifice one game effects. nope it was uh they exiled the board they went the board yeah so so like, oh, exile effects or sacrifice effects can still get rid of it, but I'm other than that, think, it's uh, really tough. Me hook massacre. They oh, they massacred yeah. me for six. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like whatever. So there's still ways, but yeah. it's really tough to deal with if you're not ready for yep. it. And most people won't be because it's not like it's a, a card that sees a lot of play. Yeah. And then you do have a couple of spells here: decisive denial, which is a great. It's a mana leak or a fight, so you can use it as removal. Yep. Um, four growth spirals, which will give you a little card draw and play. It's in another little like pet card of mine. Yep. I really like it. And then and then the Tamiya safekeeping because he has to run them just because I rage whenever he gets. Sure. Um, <laughs> this was really just the uh, like a little bit of ramp, obviously, <laughs> um, and two mana. It's just good. Uh, replaces itself, but these two were really the protect the higher yeah. end. Yeah. Um, because there's so many issues with you have to protect Coma for right. that one turn. Yep. yep. All so. right, and then the sideboard is just kind of a nope. mess at this. Oh, those are in the main deck. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So you got one Eugene. Yep. And just then, another finisher. Yep. And then two Behold the and, Multiverse. Yeah. Uh, I went so with for... with these and these, you have six card draw spells. Um, this can draw you cards, right? Yeah. Yeah. When you yeah, blitz it, when it draws you blitz a card, it, it draws yep. a card, and then you potentially can draw a card there. Yeah, these have actually felt really good. Yeah. Um, the foretell is nice if you don't have the two. Yeah, if you have nothing to do on turn mm -hmm. two, or even if you just squeeze... Like, have it, being able to cast it for two later on is really yeah. yep. is really good. Just sets you ahead on curve. Uh, and then, okay, so now we'll talk about the yep. mess of a sideboard. This is from here over. Yeah. Um, so I guess... Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll read them. Two back to nature. Yep. Two seed sharks... A Reclamation Sage, an Ooze, a Vorinclex, two Disdainful Strokes, two Aether Gusts, two Damping Spheres, and what I can't read. Two that Bouncers right. Beat Down. Okay, so I guess let's talk about what what decks you had in mind for why you put those cards in the deck. Yeah, so there's a there's a what couple. Up? I don't know. There's there's a couple like problematic decks, right? So you get some like Rakdos style decks, but black being the base for that um so bouncers beat down i don't even know um, what that does yeah uh, it's decent it costs can two less stand. to cast if it targets a black permanent deals x damage to target creature or planeswalker where x is the greatest power among creatures you control exile it yep if it dies um so it i mean deals deals with a lot of the rack dose decks um problem especially with uh uh shieldred yeah. you know, like reanimation stuff that sort of thing so aether gust uh being green or red obviously the green decks and rule decks red, yeah mono red decks the rakdos side of things devotion. too um stuff there disdainful stroke um i guess a lot of those children i say a lot of those same decks um and, and i kind of skipped over the damping sphere of reasoning this is literally for one card or for one deck um, Lotus Field. Pretty maybe. much for one person, <laughs> yes. Just in case Ray shows up. Yeah, uh, so we have the, the Damping Sphere, yep, for uh, Lotus Field. The Back to Nature, there was multiple different There was a gotcha decks. last week. What's that? Against the Enchantment deck last week. Oh, yeah. There was a gotcha with that card. Yeah. There was a comment on YouTube that was like, wow, I haven't seen that card in a while. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. actually started running that in the Golgari deck because there was two people playing, like, 
Bogles at the time. Yeah, and I actually didn't put it in, like, I didn't have for that ever chase. Um, because I, the yeah. current deck that I was playing, I could not beat Chase, right. period, in a matter. Um, and I, I trimmed it from three to two this week, but um, I'll skip over this. Uh, Vorinclex, we had a bunch of Counters Matters decks. Um, so that's kind of the way to, like, deal with that. If we have any sort of, uh, any sort of, like, Planeswalker heavy deck. Scavenging News is just Exile. you with your graveyard. I don't do anything with the graveyard. Not yet. Ever. Yeah. In any deck uh -huh. I ever play. Yeah. Um, Reclamation Sage was uh, for that, the enchantment style decks. Yeah. Um, just people have that there. And this is probably, like, the most, like, out of the... Left field? Like, yeah, it's, like, it's not <laughs> I mean, there. So I'm going to say when I saw that card spoiled, I didn't order them immediately, but I ordered a playset after release yeah. day. Um, so it's here more for the, like, high defense. Um, mm -hmm. Just to just simply and like, the flyer. Uh, so having four toughness... And being a flyer, there's not a ton of spells that you like. You're gonna really get anything off. Roast of here. doesn't hit it. Um, cool. Because most people are running roast, but it's non-flying creatures. Cool. cool. Yeah. Um, but like, I'm not worried <laughs> about the. Ro I'm probably not bringing it in against the deck that's playing roast, but um, but that, that's kind of just where that one's been. Um, I, I struggle with flying, not so much now, but yeah. I did for a long time, so this may... This would be he says, I did thing. for a long time. He's played the deck for one week. No, this is in my sideboard for, like, every oh, other... I got you. Every other blue deck that I was playing. Gotcha. And, um, Have you used it yet? Uh, I put it in, like, twice. Not in this show, gotcha. but in the Onctus version I did, and uh, um, it's just it's so lackluster. Um, so I, this may get the cut. I don't know. We'll see. Cool, cool. All right, that's it. People are starting to show up, so uh, I guess we got to go do things instead of sit here and talk about magic cards. That's Thanks for watching, everybody.